Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Twisted. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today's video, I'm actually going to be doing the comic book review a little bit differently than I did my, for my last one. Instead of using gameplay footage, I'm actually going to show casing you, showing you, that doesn't really make any sense. Wherever you are, I'm going to show you the panels or the comic book pages, so you guys can have a visual reference of what I'm talking about. So, this is a review that's going to be have handling a little bit differently, so this is what I'm going to prefer to do i might do one-off commentaries where i talk about one issue of a comic book series and put gameplay footage over so i don't have to do extra editing but of course i want to be productive in here so i'm not going to use any gameplay footage for this one but i'm on honestly going to be using this format i guess anyways i'm going to be reviewing the sonic hedgehog issue from idw issue 13 i'm not sure if i'm going to go back and review issue 11 through 12 issue 11 and 12 i'm possibly gonna do that in the near future but honestly i'm gonna just review this one for like a start anyways let's jump right in. okay as we start off we have a the page of sonic chilling because during like issue 12 i believe or issue 11 i should say he was fighting off neo middle sonic and in issue 12 he was basically trying to get the whole team back together and try to recruit back home and so basically this is where the page starts off with you know, giving a recap where all the characters are. Knuckles is at Angel Island, and Silver is currently looking out for his future, trying to look out for danger. And Tails is working on the next big project project he has. And Amy, I don't know what the fuck she's doing, but let's continue. As Sonic was chilling, Tails came out of nowhere from a portal, I believe, or he actually just flew there. Now I'm thinking about it. Tails hands Sonic a letter from Dr. Robotnik. It appears that this letter from Dr. Robotnik. Now keep in mind, during the previous issues. It's Sonic and Dr. Robotnik, or Dr. Eggman, or whatever you like to call him, has a hybrid battle, and Dr. Eggman actually lost his memory. And during issues 11 through 12, the, the, the I believe, Starlight, and I believe that's his name, Starlight, or Starline, and Rumble and Tumble, I think that their names are. There are new villains into the series, and they try to regain Dr. Robotnik's memory. I'm not going to spoil it, but I basically did. But if I go back and review those issues and tell it and give you like a recap of what's happening. But as this moment is, ha at this current moment, Dr. Robotnik is actually programming, or I should not say programming, he is actually working on a virus to actually get rid of Sonic the Hedgehog. See, what this virus does is actually metalize the host, I should say. It's basically like a parasite, and it can metalize the host and make it where Dr. Robotnik can actually command them to do whatever he wants. And this is right here where he's using it as on those test subjects, like a flower. And as we see right here, he pours the substance onto the flower and the flower becomes robotic. And that's when Dr. Robotnik says that the substance can work on living organisms. And Sonic and Tails went to windmill. I, I, now keep in mind, this ain't the same, they ain't, this ain't the same windmill, windmill aisle from back from Sonic Unleashed, I believe, and this is just a completely different one that is called Windmill, Windmill Isle. I believe this is a reference to Sonic Unleashed. But anyways, Ch Sonic and Tails were looking for the citizens of the town until they came across came across Elder Scuffy, so, or Scruffy. Anyways, this is the goat dude. What this man actually tells them, tells Sonic and Tails, is that Rumble, Rough and Tumble, <laughs> I should just say, actually came in to kidnap all the people in town and then what they have here is that they have Dr. Robotnik's tech and so they can use that tech to take down Sonic and Tails. You see during the la last fight from the previous issues Sonic actually Sonic and Knuckles I should say actually took down R Rough and Tumble and put him in prison because th they are actually so weak that they have to use weapons against them. But as we see here Sonic's getting a little cocky and he's actually, you know, thinking that he could take these guys on. Even even with weapons, he thinks he could take these But Sonic got a little bit too cocky, I should say. And I really love how Sonic actually realized that he's that they're actually using weapons against him. I don't know how he didn't realize that before when he could literally see them on their fucking backs. But as you can see, he got shot, shot by a bomb. Uh, really from Tumble, I think that's name is. I don't care really. Sure name them because I honestly don't care for these two. They're just there because they're just another one-off villains, I'm gonna say. As the two villains start fighting Sonic, Tails actually rescues the rest of the civilians, and he realized that Sonic 
Sonic needs Tails' his help because Sonic's getting his ass kicked. We see Dr. Robotnik using his new virus, I should say, and using it on living animals. And as soon as I saw this, I was like, wow, Dr. Robotnik's actually kind of fucked up in this version. He used the virus on this rabbit here, and he uses the same, and he's trying to demonstrate that the rabbit with the virus, if he touches anything, I mean, absolutely, like, one, like, one tap on the sol shoulder, a soldier shoulder I should say he you could get affected by that so this virus is really really not really that contagious <laughs> now I, I actually skipped a little few panels a little bit the squirrel actually picked up the flower and used that flower to touch on anything and now that's that squirrel since he touched that flower now he has the virus so this demonstrates how powerful this virus could be and how fucked up that it, this is moving right along I believe this character's name is Starlight, or Starline, I believe. They're going to watch the battle as with Sonic and Tails against the other two villains. During this fight, Sonic's, Sonic's asking, okay, Sonic's getting his ass kicked, and Tails came in to save the day, and then, <laughs> what I like about this in the next page, they actually copied Rumble and Tumble's intro, and then <laughs> they're like, oh, okay, which I... I like how they do that because it's completely reference, referencing the games and how they're so cheesy in their intros. I, I, as you can see, Sonic and Tails are kind of struggling with this fight because they're using Eggman's, Eggman's tech against them and that usually doesn't go well at all. But in this shot, it just so, it shows you how, I guess, intelligent Tails actually is and he actually coordinates how to catch the bomb and throws it back at And as for Eggman and Starline, they are actually disappointed actually seeing Tails the Sonic winning the fight, and I, they're kind of pissed off at that, but then Eggman actually turns to, to the squirrel, and this virus is getting more affected towards the squirrel, so he actually becomes more affected. Anyways, during the fight, Sonic kicks the living crap out rough, roughly here, and actually cut off his tail. Now that's a mechanical tail, so not an actual tail, don't be thinking about that. Rough here is actually kind of sad that he's got his own tail. Killed, I guess. I don't know. But during all this, Sonic and Tails, won Sonic and Tails won wins the fight, and they're trying to get information out of them to see where Eggman is located. But the portal came out of nowhere, and he swallows him up and brings him back to a secret laboratory, I should say. Now, as Sonic and Tails were discussing what happened, Sonic decides to go race off and find, try to find Silver, or bring up the Resistance back together and try to take down Eggman in this next issue. issue. And then the next panel, we see the two troublemakers, I should say, asking for Eggman for new tech. In the middle, Sonic came out of nowhere and actually was like, I want to fucking fight those two. But then, in the next issue, I believe, there's gonna be versus, it's gonna be Sonic versus Dr. Starline. So yeah, that's how the issue actually ends. This is a really, really, uh, I guess, a short story issue, I should say. It basically introduces Eggman's new virus and the next issue is about Sonic and Silver teaming up to face off against Dr. Starline and I don't know I should say that the, that that issue would be interesting I would like to see what Dr. Starline actually does and what abilities that he has against Sonic and friends I should say but anyways I will rate this issue an 8 out of 10 not my favorite in issue in the series but it's not a bad one too anyways thank you all so much for watching please leave a like comment and subscribe follow on Twitter Instagram and Snapchat and peace Let me